All right, thank you so much for staying with us. We still have um, more creative uh, in the house. And of course, we have someone here who shared something very, very, you know, relatable with me. He shares my brother's name. And um, the guy before now is a Taiwo, and I'm a Taiwo. Something's happening today, and I feel it's a blessed day. So please make welcome Mr. Samuel Effium. He goes by the name Samuel Effium, and he's also a fashion designer and an illustrator. Good morning, Samuel, and Good thank morning. you so much for joining us. I'm very happy to be here. All right. So no. before we came on air, we're talking about why you went into um, creative designing fashion designing and of okay. course illustration mm -hmm. now a lot of us might not understand what an illustrator is okay. but before you take us into that journey um, let's talk about the creative part of your fashion design okay are you into the conceptualization and of course the sewing mm -hmm. or where exactly are you niched in this part okay so generally I'm more into the conceptualization the sewing part for me I see it as um a little bit stressful. I don't have that much time, so I'm an artistic person, naturally. So the drawing part, I feel, is more relatable to me, and I enjoy doing it more than any other thing. You're not the first person to tell me that sewing is stressful. I was having a conversation with someone yesterday who had always been into the fashion designing, and all of a sudden, I couldn't find mannequin around her in her store and all that. She said. It's really stressful. It's very So very she has stressful. gone into the food blogging right okay. now. Okay. So when you said it's stressful, I can understand. <laughs> but then again, don't you think you're not complete if you are just a, a designer or a drawer or something? Well, not being complete, I wouldn't say that. Um, I think the way it is, um, we have a building block in heavy society and heavy industry. So generally, the Fashion industry also has a building block like that. There are steps and stages for everything. So people that sew may not be able to design. People that design may not be able to sew. Some know how to do both. Some don't want to do both. Like me, I don't want to do both. I don't have that much time. <laughs> I'm still a teenager. I still have school to do it. Okay. I still have designing to do it. Okay. So for me, I feel the artistic side of it is natural. So why don't I just focus on that? something that I can do like even for my sleep. So that's why I just chose the designing part. Okay, so we'll be, you know, for those who are watching, they'll be seeing more of your creative works, yeah. especially the drawing. Mm -hmm. So, but then what informed your decision to go into drawing and where do you get your ideas from? What informed my decision to go into drawing? <laughs> so, like I said, it's natural for me. I've been drawing since I was in, like, since I was, as long as I can remember, I've been drawing comics since I was in nursery too. Mm. So from drawing box men, kicking down doors, mm. I evolved. So the drawing aspect for me has always been natural. So the idea generation, I would say is just from everything. So necessarily I can look at a room and pick out the colors, look for the light, the shade. I was taught that um, in school, yes. So I just look for the light, the shade pick out what is meant to be and from there I conceptualize my own heart so it can just be from the way your shirt is rumpled mm. I can pick that out and join with something I can see maybe later on or just the color of the cloud you understand the particular moments you know the way the cloud forms you can just form a particular diagram and from there I can pick it out and merge them together or just normal wall diagrams you know sometimes for artistic people, I think it's natural. I feel if you can't look at a particular thing and remove an idea from it, I don't think you are totally artistic. Mm -hmm. Well, you can be artistic. People learn it. You understand? People learn to be artistic. Some people, it comes naturally. Just the way you see, some people are naturally rhetoric. Mm -hmm. Some people learn to be rhetoric. Mm -hmm. Like me, I don't like talking. You understand? So, the artistic part, I can't pick it from anything. Like, anything. Generally. But majorly, where does your inspiration come from, even so, if it is natural? Yes. Yeah. So when I see your craft, I know this is Samuel's craft. Okay, so naturally, I, it comes from um, nature itself. Say it again? Nature, nature. Oh, okay, okay. I naturally get my craft from nature. Sometimes I look at um, birds, mm. and I try to depict what the bird represents. So I don't always make the diagram look like the bird itself. Okay. 
So I feel everything and every animal, mm. even nature itself, has a meaning to itself. Mm. Leaves, there are meanings they have, they give them meanings. Yeah. Yes. So from there, I can extract the meaning and from the meaning, create something. Wow. Yes. So you're so deep when it comes to yes. your yes. creative art. Okay, now let's go into illustration. Yes. You are an illustrator. Yes. Please, for those who are watching, a lot not know what an yeah. illustrator yes. or yes. who an illustrator is. Yes. So can you please, it. you know, elaborate more on that? So illustration generally mm -hmm. is just like bringing out the ideas before the manufacturing of it. I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, let me try breaking it down. Okay. So what illustration is for designers, because they are illustrations for other things. Mm. Even automobiles, they use illustrations. So illustration is graphically representing your idea, either on paper or using software programs. I was about going there. Yes. If yours is more of um, computer-based? Yes, no, okay. mine. Generally, I'm not yet computer-based. I'm still trying to develop into that. Okay. The equipments are not yet are not ready, and they are not readily available yet. Okay. So I'm still trying to dive into that. So illustration is just, as I said, the process of bringing out your ideas on paper or, like I said, web-based designs before it is patterned and before it is manufactured. Okay. So yes. now let's let's narrow it down so that okay. our audience doesn't get lost. Okay. Now I come to you, mm -hmm. Samuel. I want a design. Okay. Perhaps on a fabric, maybe a native outfit. Okay. How do you approach that new project? Okay. So generally, I look at the person speaking. One, I try to read the person, like what you are. I use. More of like psychic powers, you understand? Say that again? I said I use more of like psychic powers to understand you. Okay. So what you depict, what you are, and I try to make your clothes from that. Mm. So if you bring the fabric, okay, I'll give you, I can give you what you say you want. You understand? And I can help you add other designs to you. Even if I don't tell you what I want, I can, can you the, deduce what I want? Naturally, without giving me the fabric, I can deduce what you would want. You mm. understand? Okay. So I can just generally give you something plain, because you look simple. Okay. I can give you something plain with a color that actually depicts your personality. Mm. More of like hem out green or something like blue. Mm. You just depict either you are being cool or elegant. Either of those two. You okay. understand what I'm saying? Okay. So, All yes. right. So, um, what's your illustri illustrative style? My illustrative style. So, mm. generally, mm. I'm more of a retro and urban person. So, I try to merge them together. When you say retro, yes. I understand urban, but mm -hmm. when you say retro... So I try digging into the past to bring out the designs from the past and merge them with those of our time. Oh, really? So when yes. it comes to some designs that are out of... Um, they are out of... They are out of vogue. Yeah, that's the okay. word I was looking at. <laughs> so how do you make them trendy? How do you create this um, appeal for those kind of designs okay. that are no longer in vogue? You know? Like I said... I dig into the past and into the present. So I look for something that was trendy then or not trendy then, and I try to bring it into something that is trendy now. So I'm creating a whole new concept from what I'm doing. So necessarily, I'm not into the trend. I'm not really giving a whole lot of attention to that. I feel if you are being artistic, you should more of be you like let them be able to depict that okay this is this person without even seeing you there let mm. them know your style so the trend i'm not a trend follower i just do me naturally so how do you enjoy what you do <laughs> how do i enjoy because there's I always do? a form to what you do it, naturally so yes. how do you enjoy that mm, i enjoy it like in every way possible so from the idea creation. I actually even love the fact that it's brain taxing. Okay. So from the idea creation to the joint process to the completion to the coloring, I enjoy everything. Okay, so let's talk about the one, the Naira and Cowboy about what you do, the profit <laughs> end. Okay. All right, so talk to us about the profitability of what you do because you don't do everything like mm, you said yes. you are just within the conceptualization of it yes. you don't do sewing yes. so how do you make money from it so generally i have a particular 
percent of souls that I use. So when I get the job, mm. there's no need for me to tell them I don't sew. Okay. There's no need for so, that. So, but you, you assume that you collect money to do conceptualization and designing. Yes. So, on an average, how much do you charge if it were basically conceptualizing? Conceptualization depends on the person. I can be a little bit sentimental in some cases mm. if I'm close to the person. But if I'm not, um, I try not charging too much. What's your price tag? Mm, between like, uh, if I'm going to sew, if you just want the design for yourself, mm. just you. Just you give me sewing. a design, I'll go do the sewing. Um, well, it depends on how taxing it to be. One, how time taking. Mm. Two, how many sleepless nights you have over you. Three, Come on. Of course. How's that my business? It's part give me, give me your price. You are telling me uh, how much no, sleepless that's, nights that's, you are going to be deprived. You should, you should, you should I mean, understand. That's, that is how it is in every market. They actually, so if, if, if what I'm going to give to you to design will take you seven sleepless nights, mm, it's going to be on me. I'll actually saying? add that. What? Yes. Samia, <laughs> you're not for me. <laughs> You are target. You are targeting. But anyway. But wait, anyway. But also, also, why would you want to give me seven sleepless nights? Like, don't you think that's unfair on your own side? No, I just gave you uh, a job. Okay. It's your job. So give me a price. You're telling me how much sleepless nights you're gonna. It's, it's calculative. It's calculative. Okay, just on an average. On an average, okay. I will do like um, maybe thirty twenty on an average. Okay. If it's just for the design. Anyway, that's 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 fine. Yes. Is it in naira? Someone is asking. Is it in naira in dollars? <laughs> Because of course you know a naira is not really appreciable. So how much is it in dollars? I'm as at now. If it's in dollar, if it's twenty dollars, I see the same thing in naira. Just a little bit higher, so you understand. So either way you want to put it as at now, I mean now, like mm. Nigeria of now. Mm. Yes. Anyway, thank you so much, Samuel. Okay. Um, your target audience who love your creative stuff, okay. you know, might want to reach out to you. Okay. Do you mind sharing your handles? So necessary. Okay. Mm. Um, I'm not really a social person. So, but you can follow me on Insta. I go at same, S E M E. So I just match both my names, underscore twenty nine zero four, which is my bed date. That's just all. And on Facebook, I am Samuel Fiam. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Samuel, for coming on the show. Yes, we appreciate I'm you. Very happy to be all here. All right. All right. The show continues shortly after this timeout. Please do stay with us. Adios.